gotta do it if you really wanna fall Take your five when you're back against the wall And a bunch of niggas need you to go away What is up guys, it is Jordan Vlogs and welcome to my YouTube channel Jeez, it has been a while since the last upload, about three weeks ago, I believe. So uh, today is just going to be a short little vlog um, just to keep you guys updated because uh, I've been working the last three weeks and this whole week too. Like, thank God there's been a lot of work. So uh, this is going to be a short little vlog. Right now I'm taking my brother's Hellcat to DCH of Temecula. Um, it's due for an oil change and like it has low, uh, fuck, what's it called? Well, when I figure out the name, I'll tell you guys, but it's low, and uh, for some reason, it sounds like it's misfiring. Might be just me, but I don't know, but um, when I get there, <clears throat> I'm going to have them check the whole entire car, look at it, and it is 7.03 in the morning. I have to be there exactly at 8. It is a 45-minute drive, so right now, I'm going to head over there, get the cold start for you guys. My Hellcat, I'm gonna make, I was going to do it on this video, but I'm going to do it for another video. Uh, it go, it's fully straight piped from the cat's back. I might go catless by the end of the month. Not sure. Still debating. Talking to a tuner. He's uh, he's number two in the world, or number one, I'm not sure, for tuning Hellcats and Red Eyes. Basically, he told me that he could get my car to 850 wheel horsepower with a simple tune, headers, and E85. But I'm not sure if I want to go E85 on the car because I've heard some negative things about that. So, I'm still debating, we're talking a lot, and I don't know what the hell these... I swear these dogs are stupid, man. So, right now we're going to head out, because I shouldn't be wasting no time. The cold start on a Hellcat takes a while, especially in a supercharged car, so... <clears throat> Let me see if I can get the noise on video for you guys. heard that but like as soon as it turned on it like it like got weakened and it got loud i don't know if it's an exhaust problem or something because it is an aftermarket exhaust from carvin uh they don't have serious problems i don't know why i said that like, like good exhaust brand carvin is really good so right now um there was just this thing i said uh change oil soon so we're gonna go do that so hopefully this doesn't take a while i'm gonna have them check the whole entire car i would go outside but my neighbors are outside and like they hate loud cars because they're both loud as hell. Um, well, for I guess stock, they're pretty loud, but my Mustang, that car on a cold start is as loud as my Mustang on a cold start now, which is kind of scary and it's it's not even catless yet. So, um, I haven't driven stick in a month. Holy shit, how am I gonna do this? Well, wish me luck. And he leaves me with no gas. Are you kidding me? So one thing I like about my brother's Hellcat is that his parking uh, brake release is right here. Mine's that, you have to push it in and push it out. I don't like that, it's so annoying on the car. And then uh, he has like a little warning, so if someone's like near you, it like warns you. Mine doesn't have that for some reason. I look, you think my red eye didn't come fully loaded, if that's even a thing. But it's whatever, I don't really care. It's cool, it's, it's a sports car, I mean, I guess. Like, who like pays attention to that? I mean, I do, but car is so damn wide I almost like people almost hit me because I don't pay attention or they don't pay, pay attention so yeah kind of bad and this car's still warming up also this car hasn't been washed in like over a month or two so it's like super dirty because it's been raining over here for no damn reason in the middle of May or the endings of May so right now we're putting in gas before we head out to our Temecula drive because it's kind of like low-key far can't have this car running out I need to wash it for him. I'm gonna have the dealer either wash it or I'm gonna detail it from one of those two because it's super dirty. It's disgusting. Alright, guys, so I'm gonna pick up the vlog when I get over there. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna record while I'm in there or just wait till I come back home. Talk a little bit about the Hellcats, both of them. But uh, I'll be picking up the vlog in a bit because um, this drive's a little bit far and I don't wanna record and drive anymore because I got in trouble by a cop. Caught me, he let me go though, so we're good. Look at all that traffic coming back, jeez. 
I know I said I wasn't gonna record to the cops, but I checked behind me, nothing. And yeah, it's stick shift, but cruise control and kind of driving under the speed limit, everyone's passing me. Don't really want to push the car because again, it's missing some fluids. Um, last time I pushed it, um, oh my god, I sound so stupid when I talk. Like I don't even know what it's called. Like how, it's on the tip of my tongue, but I don't want to say anything dumb because I know Damien. I know he's watching this. He's gonna start roasting me. So once I figure it out, I'll tell you guys because I don't want to sound dumb. Like the majority, like of people in the car seem like say something stupid, like break your fluid, and they actually believe it. Like it's crazy. This traffic's gonna be horrible. I'm gonna try to take the back roads because I'm not trying to go through this. But I really hope this car isn't going through some serious problems because if it is, that will be really bad. <sighs> Hoping for the best. So I just arrived at Temecula Dodge and they have a Jeep Gladiator. These things are freaking dope. Like, if I could daily one of these, it'd be heaven. I don't know if you guys can see the interior, it's pretty dark. It's really nice. It's going for fifty-two thousand. Markup is seventy-three thousand dollars. Holy shit! But anyways, I took the Hellcat in. It's getting an oil change and it's getting coolant. That's what it was, coolant. See, I couldn't freaking remember. So um, the guy told me that the car isn't really driven a lot. It only has six thousand miles and it's a year old. He recommend. He said a guy that drives a Hellcat every day has less problems than a guy that doesn't drive a Hellcat every day. So he recommended me to start driving it on my red eye. I hit 1,200 miles in one month. It's at 3,000 miles now and it's only two months old. Yeah, I'm pretty bad at driving cars. But I told my dad and everyone in my family, including the dealer, what's the whole point of buying a nice car if you're not gonna drive it like it's supposed to be? Like if you're just gonna have it sitting in the garage and you might as well bought like a V6 or a freaking Jeep or something. But anyways, they're not open, um, not serious cars, and there's no Hellcats or anything. Um, they all sell as soon as they come to this dealer because it's good customers, like amazing people, DCH of Temecula. Like if you guys ever come here, I recommend Luis. He's one of the best people. He made, he got me the white one and the red eye, but sadly it's not open. I really want to go in there. Oh, there, no, there's a Hellcat right there, a black one. Too bad it's dark. I got in and it's a black 2019 Charger Hellcat. I said Challenger, I don't know why. I get them confused. I don't know how. Charger SRT Hellcat, it's going for 71,000. It's not bad. I like the color and then it's got like black interior with red seatbelts. Yeah, not 72,000, it's 92,000. <laughs> Sheesh. All right, so oil, in, uh, oil change is done, coolant is filled, everything's good to go. Right now, I'm heading back to Riverside. Uh, I'm gonna put the camera down because it's an odd steep hill right here and uh, there's traffic right now I checked and don't really want to drive with the camera. So I'll pick up the vlog when I get over there I really wish he would have lined it up and I wish I had my GoPro so I could give this guy a big L Would have been a cool race All right, just got back home sadly can't wash this car until next week because it just got ceramic coated a week ago And the guy told me to wait three weeks, but like I'm noticing swirls and all that so Maybe when I wash it, it's because probably there's dirt sitting on it. So maybe when I wash it, all that will disappear because that ceramic cleaning was supposed to get rid of all that stuff. All right, oil change is done, coolant is filled. Oh my God, dude, look how dirty this is. Jesus, definitely needs a clean up. All right, so I'll pick up the vlog in a bit, guys. All right, guys, so it is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this little short YouTube uh, upload that I've done because um, this Sunday I'm going to like a car show meet and greet with this big uh, artist Fora and like Tune in Tokyo and all that. I doubt I'll meet any any of them, but I'm just going for the cars and the cruise with a whole bunch of cool cars. I'm meeting up with the GTR if it doesn't he doesn't lag or something else happens. So right now I'm gonna probably edit this and this should be up within tomorrow or in the next day because it takes a while for me to edit and I'm studying for a couple of stuff right now so. Next vlog will be coming out next week, hopefully trying to keep it a little streak going for you guys. So leave a like, comment, subscribe, and let me know what you guys want to see on my next video.